German economy, recession or not, slow down, what to do, energy transition. Like you're in Hamburg, you know the German economy better than most Norwegians, I would just imagine. So what can you share about the trajectory going forward? Is it going to be difficult for Germany to get growth again, or do you see any interesting pathways? First of all, that is quite a topic, I must say. And uh, how much time do we have? But uh, no, on, on, on the one hand, I'm I'm not particularly positive about the German economy these days. And I will explain why in, in a second. But on the other hand, um, Germany has always been quite adaptable um, to changes and has been able to turn around quickly from, from downturns. And I'm confident that this will be the case this time around, at least in the mid to long term. The, the, the question is under which political leadership and uh, what will happen in the meantime. But that's possibly something also for the uh, another episode in 12 to 24 months to draw a conclusion. But but maybe a few words on, on German economy from, from my standpoint. If you look back the last decades, let's say five, six decades, the, the growth of the German economy was, was amongst others based on uh, cheap energy from Russia to support the heavy manufacturing free security provided by the US and a comparably stable political system in Germany. And then obviously Germany having, I would argue, fantastic high quality products and being a leading export nation. So a lot of that has been the ingredients, right? A lot of that has changed, right? The political or the geopolitical landscape is, is less stable. The US has a, a lot of in, in internal things as well. Um, with a, a, a war basically at our doorstep. The, 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 the feeling of security has changed. Energy, cheap energy from Russia is a thing of the past, um, to our point earlier on Norwegian-German relationship. Um, and so, so the German economy has been troubled by in, insecurity. Then you have inflation, you have the, the high cost of living energy. Um, um, yeah, so, so there are quite a few things that are that are concerning. Then we have a, a current coalition of liberals, social democrats, and, and greens. They had a tough time agreeing on issues and measures from the outset. Um, and this has had added insecurity for businesses and, and people, um, and obviously rising interest rates. But I think a very interesting fact is, is quite recent, and I don't know if this is known in Norway, but a, a key component of government financing strategy in Germany has been declared as an illegal, illegal practice by the German Federal Constitutional Court just recently in November. And that is a 260 billion euro um, funds that have been tapped. And, and that that is because of the, I would say, the marriage between uh, the political interests currently uh, governing this, this uh, uh, country um, who have had an approach to subsidize or enforce the transition of the current German economy to be less carbon intensive. Um, and this is done without raising taxes and at the same time increasing state spending, um, for example, on social welfare. All of that makes sense. But the fact that this has been now called illegal uh, has been quite a shock. Um, and I think it will be a big, big challenge for the current government and let's see whether they will uh, survive until the next election in 2025. So a, a long answer to your question, but I think uh, there are quite some, some developments. And again, in some, I'm positive on your recession question, Germany's GDP was already expected to decline by let's say minus 0.4 to minus 0.8% um, before the funding scheme disaster that I just mentioned. So let's see where that where that will lead us. But I think in general, next one to two years, not positive, mid to long term, positive.